In a previous video, we did tell you that the SEC was expected to give its decision on this Bitcoin ETF filing by Akinvest. While well, they responded with the following delay letter, which is standard practice, this is basically a way of delaying taking a decision on all of these Bitcoin ETF filings. So, as it stands, the SEC has not taken a decision on whether they are going to approve all of these Bitcoin ETF filings or not. But the question really is, why is the SEC delaying taking a decision? Well, experts think that the delay is because of the case between Grayscale and the SEC. If you don't know what's going on, Grayscale sued the SEC. And the reason they did that was because last year they proposed a Bitcoin ETF, but the SEC denied them that. So, experts think that um, if the court gives her ruling on this, then the SEC is going to have a stand to either reject these ETF filings or accept them, okay? So, they're basically kind of waiting for the outcome of this court case. That was why they presented the delay letter yesterday instead of taking a decision on ARK Invest Bitcoin ETF filing. One expert in this field, Nathan Gerasi, the president of the ETF store, believes that a favorable grayscale ruling and the Coinbase Surveillance Sharing Agreement will be enough to get the SEC over the finish line on spot Bitcoin ETF approval. And he also pointed out that the SEC is not required to make any decisions until January 2024. So we have about six months till this approval takes shape, okay? So we have about six months until a decision by the SEC is reached on all of these filings. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So probably the next bull run is going to be early January or maybe february march okay so this is it for this video nothing my video is financial advice is briggs lbs and it's like can sign enough